All right, I'm going to do an iPhone 6S backlight filter repair in 4K. Haha. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's test it first. First thing I always do is diode mode, the anode pin with the battery disconnected. Uh, black on ground, red on the middle pin right here, and that says OL. Uh, after I do that, then I go to the filter, which very obviously burnt. Um, I'll see if I can find the end of it, uh, but I may not be able to. Anyways, it's busted. I'm pretty sure it's done, so we'll, we'll figure that out later. So let's just go ahead and... Wrong tips. Let's get my 0.1 millimeter tips on. Let's get the old filter out. Oh yeah, that's very obviously busted. So the secret is to try to get it out without pulling the pads. Otherwise, it's going to cost you another 15-20 minutes on an otherwise fairly simple job. Okay, there you go. All right, so that is out. And then I like to use my pencil here to get the remaining bits out. Um, just to clean it up a little bit. And I'm not going to put any flux on it yet. No flux, because I really just want to clean the, uh, the black gooey stuff. Alright, so the area is clean of the black stuff. Um, next thing I want to do is get some isopropyl alcohol to just a little bit, just clean up all the black stuff. Now I want to tin it, tin the pads, so that once I put the filter in, it'll be a lot easier to get get in. So for that, I use my tweezers again, just just really just a dabble of flux. Uh, I should probably have some clean tweezers. Just a slight dabble of flux. Um, and then I'm going to tin my tips and really just use, well, I can use both of them. But this will make the job a lot easier when you tin it. There you go. There you go. Tin it, tin it, tin it, tin it. I like to see a little bit more on there. If I can. There you go. There you go. So that might be too much now, but it's okay. Taking it off is a little bit easier than putting it on. Yeah, there you go. And then I will get my filter. My little filter. It's a 350 milliampere, 240 ohm, 0201, and it's really, really tiny. Um, okay, I get my tweezers again, and there you go. Let's get a little bit more flux. Not a whole lot. Just, just a little dabble. You don't really want to cause a mess. You just want just enough so that it's wet, and then. There you go, and all you really ever want is a nice shiny joint, and that's a shiny joint that's very solid. Let's get a little more IPA, clean this mother up. There you go, and then let's zoom in with the 4K. Hold on. Look at that Christmas. No, I can't really tell if it's crisp or not because I'm watching on my iPhone right now. But you can test it by putting the black on ground and then the red on the second pin. And you should get it right around 0.53, right around there. You get 0.53, then you know everything is beautiful. 
And you also really want to check the two cathode pins, just to make sure you don't have any shorts. So, one side of ground, ugh. one side to ground, and then one side to the left side. One sec. Uh oh, okay, I got the wrong. I had black on ground. Red should be on ground, black should be on. No, I'm sorry. Red should be on ground, yeah. Black should be on the pin. So I get 0.616 on both sides. So I know that's good. And I know this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful repair. So that's it. Um, unfortunately, with this camera, I can only record and I can't swap screens or anything like that because it doesn't allow me to do it on my computer. So that'll be the end of this video. But I'm going to test it and everything's going to be wonderful. Thanks for watching.